The overall goal of this procedure is to train upper limb amputees to use advanced prosthetic limbs. This is accomplished by using the amputee's inherent learning strategies to guide rehabilitation. The first step is to have the patient imitate and repeat movements performed by a demonstrator. Next, the patient engages with a computer system to reinforce learning and to train algorithms for prosthetic control. The final step is for the patient to independently control an advanced prosthetic limb. Ultimately, structured rehabilitation training is used to show that using amputees' inherent learning strategies improves advanced prosthetic control. So, I first had the idea for this method when we were attempting to train an amputee to control an advanced prosthetic limb. Unfortunately, the existing pattern recognition methods were not effective. Visual demonstration of this method is crucial as the method itself is fully visual and it's important for clinicians as well as engineers to consider it while training patients and not only algorithms. Begin by fitting a customized socket and prosthesis to the participant. Calibrate the prosthetic hardware and use the collected calibration data for real-time prosthetic control. Do not give the participant any formal training. However, instruct them that they will perform eight actions, which include one resting state, with the prosthetic limb that will allow control of a visual target on a computer screen. Display a static picture of the movement on the screen and ask the participant to follow a visual cue. Then, show the participant the unique and specific polar plots which correspond to their electromagnetic...